in this video we're going to be looking into uh, stuff related to selection of the objects uh, in Blender so if you want to select multiple objects again just like uh, a lot of other software uh, you will be clicking shift and then you will be uh, if you're using the mouse key it's gonna be uh, the, the left click uh, while the, the shift is pressed and you can see that they become all of them become highlighted and another thing you're gonna be noticing is that uh, when you are multiple doing the multiple selection of the objects uh, over here on the right hand side uh, side uh, you're gonna be seeing that multiple ob uh, that the properties shown are for the la for the last object you selected so over here right now the light has been selected and you can still uh, tweak the uh, the properties related to the last object you selected which in this case is light so if I again keep the shift uh, keep the shift key pressed and select this cube you will see that although multiple objects have been selected but right now the properties enabled is for this cube and now it is now for this camera uh, again if you want to deselect you will say you will just click on the mesh other than those objects which are selected and it's going to deselect it uh, in the hot keys you can do a for selecting all and alt a in order to deselect all okay uh, that would be it and then the other thing is that uh, sometimes when you are selecting multiple objects so let's say if I want to create like a so if I have another cube here right so they are two uh, let's just scale it and let's just move it right so basically right now I will be able to select it and if you are very precise you will always be able to select multiple objects but for any reason if you are if one is kind of behind another object and you are not able to see the object or you have other issues or maybe in two cubes things are very very simple and you can if you go by like zooming in you can select them but for some reason if you are not able to select what you can do is like you can change it to a shading one where only the Sorry about that. And where only the the outlines have been are visible, then it would become much more easier to actually select multiple objects, deselect, and stuff like that. So now, even if I am here, I am. So this is not possible over here when you do this. It's always gonna select the bigger object or the object in the front. But if I enable this outlining. I'm clicking through this one the big cube and I'm still able to select the smaller cube by clicking on its outline uh, that's all for the selection we will cover the next thing in the next video